Welcome back to SystemWise. Today we're going to talk about a, uh, doing a pump selection within SystemWise. And there's a few things that we're going to go over. Um, I've already brought us to the SystemWise webpage, so let's go ahead and dive right in. A couple things you're going to notice is up here in the upper right hand corner we have 50 hertz and 60 hertz right here. So you can choose um, which motor speed uh, from a hertz perspective you're going to be using on your pump. Since we're in the US, most of the time we're going to be sticking with 60 hertz. Let's move on down a little bit further in the product families. In system wise, you have to select some kind of pump to make a pump selection. So we're going to select end suction for right now. Once you go down, after you made your selection, you go down to duty point. In duty point, we're going to go through a few things that we're looking at here. First, it needs a a flow and a head for making our pump selection. So for our example, we're going to do a, a thousand GPM for example at 50 feet ahead. Now the control head is what you're going to see is a third box right here. It is automatically calculated at 30 percent of whatever your total head is right here. Now this is completely editable to whatever you would like it to be. It is defaulted and if you need more information there's a little I button right here that will actually give you some of this information on what control head is and what we've defaulted it to. And you'll notice we put 30% of the total head right there just like we said before. Now once you have that 15 put in there because it's based off the 50, we're going to leave over speeding off for the time being. The selection mode up in the upper right hand corner is on variable speed or constant speed. Right now it's selected variable speed and we're going to move forward with it. If you need to make additional parameters, you can look at motor settings or the fluid changing it to glycol for example. You can in these two tabs. Let's go ahead and press get results and see what comes up. Now we're going to scroll down a little bit and here's what you're going to see. A couple things right off the bat. Starting from the left, you're going to see that we start off with a curve window and if I hover over this it says expand. Now let's go ahead and click that just to give an idea what it looks like. Now the curve will come up and you can see it is done based off speeds because we've done this basing it off of PLEV or that part load efficiency value. And you can see PLEV operating points down here at the very bottom. If you need to get more information on this and this little window just isn't enough to be able to see what you want to see, if you click this download button right here it will download and let's see if I can go ahead and get this to work it'll download and we can be able to open this up to see a better image. Now this is the image of the curve. The pump selection summary is going to give you all your examples. You're going to see we have MPSH and power lines here and each one of these four lines right here correspond to the four speeds that you see on the performance curve. Now let's go back to our pump selection real quick to see what really what we're looking at here after that review of the curve. The way that this works is it actually sorts it and it can be completely editable if you have a login by the part load efficiency value. In other words, this is our variable speed. We're going to be operating at part load most of the time. So we went ahead and said, let's put the highest efficiency first. So you'll notice that we picked an E1510 5BD. Well, let's go ahead and click this and see where it brings us. It brings us to our E1510 5, e e bd and you're going to notice we have all of the parameters up front here in front of you from our flow, our head, the discharge size, the weight, the floor space which actually gives you how much floor space this pump is going to occupy, the PLEV, the motor horsepower, and then the motor brake horsepower. Now if I scroll down a little bit further I'm going to show you a few of the things. There's our curve again as you can see. Here's the overview that'll give you all the background and the benefits and features of the 1510 and any other pump that you would select within system wise. Then you have operating cost, which if I click this, what's going to happen is it'll ask you to be logged in. It will do it based off of your location or your zip code once you enter that in. And it'll actually calculate based off of the um, U.S. power of what exactly, or Canada for that matter, of what exactly it should be costing you to operate annually. So we're not going to log into that for right now. And then here are the dimensions. Now the dimensions are a quick snapshot as you can see and again if you need to download there's a download button right here which will allow you to download it very similar into a PDF so you can actually take a look at this a little bit closer and here's a good example. There's a little rendering here's all the dimensions for this 5BD1510. Let's go ahead and escape out of this. 
and that's how you make your pump selection. Now, if you need additional information on this pump, you're going to notice on the right hand side here, I have Add to Schedule and Documents. The Add to Schedule, to, you can make your own schedule, but most of the time to save that schedule, you're going to need to log in as well. However, to get documents that you may need for laying out on set of plans or additional information, if you click Documents right here, a side menu pops up and you're going to notice you can get your submittal data here, your Revit, your dimensional drawings, some CAD drawings, there's your submittal, and there's specifications and additional brochures and IOMs for this particular pump. After you select, for example, an IOM we'd like to do, you can email it to yourself or you can download it. This is to be able to make it easy to get this information. When you're done, you can press the X. You can always go back to click pumps back again. And now once you click back to clear pumps, excuse me, it'll ask you, are you sure? And then you go back and you can make your second pump selection. For more information, please reach out to your local Belly Asset representative and we can help out with additional training.